Alrighty, folks. Back at her. The boy finished up his trailer, so we got my welder back. So we can start doing some welding. Uh, today I got some steel. We're going to build some uh, ends. Like uh, some, I don't know what you want to call it, end links for our two link. I had some of these lying around. Pretty sure they're just lower ball joints. Or lower control arm bushings. There we go. But these are nice and beefy, so... Just got a little bit of a tube. We're gonna run through the lathe. We're gonna get these things set into there. That's the plan. Uh, wondering what this is. I am trying to figure out, I'm working with Adreno and a few things and I'm trying to see if I can build my own gauges for the car because I can't find what I need. So I have an idea. Once I know better and it works, I'll bring you folks around and I'll show you what the heck I'm doing. But I think I can do it. It's uh, it's just taking a little more time than I thought to figure this stuff out. Um, anyways, back at her here. We got, so we're going to do that, that, machine the ends. The plan is we're going to notch these, build some mounts. Uh, back here, we're going to build some mounts, build the bag mounts. That's the plan back there. And then I don't know for sure if we'll get around. We'll have to do shock and do the pan hard. This thing has a pan hard on it, so we could reuse it because this is like, I don't know, like Camaro. This thing's still hanging around in here because it's supposed to have a clutch pack posi with most likely 373 gears, so we'll switch it out. This one might have a posi, but this is one of those gov locks where, uh, uh, you know, a good burnout and you pretty much blow the diff up. So we don't want that in there. So we'll steal, steal the bits from here. Um, but like I say, this, I measured it up. It looks like it's usable, so we could probably use that, repurpose the mount. We'll add some strength to this thing, because this is kind of a little bit of a flimsy bar. I mean, it's a pan hard. It doesn't do anything other than holding the car side to side, but we'll either zap a plate on top, or we'll fit a piece of one by one inside and then zap it up. Might do that, because it'll just make it, in my mind, stronger, and I'll be happy with it that way. All right. So, with all that said, I think the first thing we got to do is uh, start machining out this thing. So we got to chalk it up in the lathe. This has got to be a press fit. I want it to be a pretty tight press fit, but we're going to take a bit out. We should take some off of the outside, but hey, whatever. Stronger is better, right? <laughs> that thing is going to be aggressively strong. I'll never rip that apart anyways. Alrighty. Yep. Let's get started. Well, because I am no machinist, that took me a really long time. But that's okay. So we're done. These are are super tight, but that's the idea. I want them to be, they're supposed to be a press fit. I think there's a thou difference. So we should be good. We'll see. Hopefully I didn't screw up. That's got to be pretty good. I think that one's good. It'll work. It'll be fine. <laughs> I think this is there we go yeah this will be good that or a bigger press i'll be able to squish them in there anyways got those done now we got to 
cope or whatever they call it. I am just gonna open this mouth up so we can weld those suckers on. And then we will see what we're gonna do in the back. I think, I think I wanna make a plate and part of me wants to bolt it, that those arms get bolted, but they don't need to come out realistically. Uh, well, we gotta clean up some stuff on the diff anyways. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll play with this. I almost need to get a drive shaft and kind of get this mocked up to see uh, what's going to happen here. But we can position things all in the lower uh, bag mount kind of thing, like lowered to the ground. Anyways, let's get this started. Let's get these made. Then we can get the tabs done. We'll square those up. We'll figure out where our bags are going to go. We're going to make the upper mounts. And then... Yeah, we'll see where we go from there.
Alrighty. So we got the start of our trailing arms done. Uh, what do we do? We machined these. I think I showed that. Machine these. We did the coping or whatever. All I use is just an oversized, like a big flap disc. It's got nice, it's got a nice edge if you use a really thick one. If that makes sense, I don't know. You're watching me. It works really, it's pretty quick. Anyways, we got these done. They're pressed in, like really pressed in, extra tight. It's not quite, you know, doesn't have the shoulder on the one side, but I don't know. Like I say, I bought a four bar and somebody made a set of uh, all the ends just with some uh, control arm bushings. It worked really good. I built a whole bunch of trailing arms, stuff like that. I think a buddy of mine, his truck, we built a two link like this, but he's got coilovers. So we did that. <laughs> That's why you weld everything to the table. This thing always falls off. Anyways, we got this done in place ish. Well, now that everything fell down, it won't work, but. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got these done. I don't know how much more I'm going to do tonight. I think uh, tomorrow plan will be to clean up the differential in the bottom there. Uh, so we can start cutting the, making the mounts for the, to mount these arms to the diff. And then uh, we'll start working on the bag mounts after that. It's kind of the plan, but yeah, we got to get that plasma, all that junk off, clean it up a bit so we can tack it in. Um, I still kind of think I want to make the bars unbolt. I don't know why. <clears throat> I have a habit of maybe blowing up diffs, but I don't anticipate this car will have a lot of traction, so it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I think that's it for tonight. Tomorrow we will get a little further.
All right, we got these tacked in. I'm opting for not adjustability for the sake of I'm not going to break stuff. We'll go with that. Or not adjustability, I mean um, they can bolt in and out. We'll see if that bites me in the butt, but it doesn't really matter because of my pan heart. I got a lot of other garbage that's going to be in the way anyways, so I don't know. Or I don't know, I, it just doesn't really bother me. The only thing I did do that was dumb is I aggressively tacked these top parts in. So I just made a bunch of work for me because I never set the pinion angles. <laughs> Dang it. Anyways, we still gotta make some filler plates in here. I do realize that when I did this, they kind of go offset. Not too worried about it. We'll just weld flush and then we'll, yeah, it'll, it'll just be stronger. No big deal. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build our our bag mounts and stuff here. So I opted, I'm gonna go through the bar. So I'm gonna drill a hole, but I'm gonna build a plate just so it's got, uh, it's not just dangling off the one bolt on the two inch. So I'm gonna make like a five inch plate for it. We're gonna make a plate coming off the top. I'm not sure. I think we gotta, we're gonna beef it up somehow yet, but I'm gonna build the initial plate and a chunk of it is like it's, I think I'm gonna go a little bit further into the front. Um, because whatever, behind my seat, I can kind of come back and give this thing some breathing room. That's not a big deal. Uh, but we'll figure out here, whatever I decide to do. Back, forward, I don't know. Dang. Well, I couldn't go lower. Just thinking things through. We go through here. I gave myself some room, so I should be able to wiggle my exhaust through there. <laughs> oh man. Maybe I should have done a little more room. Ah, whatever, we'll figure it out. Not a problem. Only because this is all going down, so it's just gonna interfere with the exhaust, anything we do, so. No biggie, no problem. Anyways, back to the plan. We're gonna make, cut a plate. We're gonna cut a basic plate to come off of here. Um, it's gonna tag into there. Somehow I'm gonna gusset it up. We'll probably do some kind of a mount going across to the two sides, and then we'll piggyback it to hold the, the bag plate as well. But for now, we're gonna make just the basic boom. We're gonna burn a plate there. We're gonna burn a plate underneath it, drill the hole. I wanna weld a slug in there so we can sandwich that up and not worry about this pipe, I don't know, filling with junk or collapsing kind of thing. Like we can squish it. Not that we can, I'm pretty sure that's, I did these with quarter inch. So these are overbuilt for what we're doing, but hey, it's, it'll be good. All right, anyways. Let's cut and start this and then we'll start scabbing things together till I feel that bag mount is like super strong.
Well, now that worked pretty good. I don't quite dig this mount, but yeah, it works. Well, I wasn't really going to add one up here, <laughs> except I cut the angle wrong on here. So he kind of welded. Looks a little funny. I was supposed to get, I don't remember what that is. Let's say it was 87 degrees. It was supposed to go the other way. <laughs> it was supposed to be this bracket in here. Oh, well, I recut it. It's good. Those are burned in. I still want to make like a tube that goes across and then I'll tie into the front of the plate here. So I'll probably have something to connect across the top here and it'll like piggyback to the top of this plate. I don't know, like we're up at the bolt hole here. It shouldn't be a problem, but We'll beef it up a little more, just because we can. Um, you've seen me, I don't know if I mentioned before, but... So anyways, I drilled these arms like I wanted, and then I, I put a slug in there, so when we bolt it, it won't sandwich. We used, first time I get to use my mag drill, it's like, eh. But I think that thing was like a $200 drill, so... You, uh, it works good as far as being magnetic. The whole rest of the mechanism is a little, eh. Good enough, better than hand drilling. It served its purpose. <laughs> okay, so we got these in. My aggressive tacks on the diff are in. Um, I got my little U-bolts. I can probably take, well, I can take them off because the diff really isn't gonna go anywhere. Although, yes, it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm not sure what I gotta do right now. Well, I wanna do the pan hard, but we can't set the pan hard up until I figured out ride height because I want to get the pinion angle right at whatever my fictional ride height's going to be. So, I guess we're going to bust these welds. We are going to probably just set, like, put the bags in temporarily, set them up. Um, and I guess air the back of the car off so I can get roughly what I think is right. And then we'll figure out, hmm, how do we do this? I gotta break those welds. That's the problem. Well, we'll see how much the diff moves when it goes up and down. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. We'll put the bags in, we'll tee them up. We will knock our welds loose in the front of the frame. I have to find a way to hold the front there. I might tack a piece of steel so the wheels don't move. And then we can kind of do the old bouncy bounce in the back. Let's see where this thing's at. Because when it's aired up, Maybe I wing-dinged it and got it right. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's clean up some stuff here and uh, put, this, put this sucker together and see what happens. All right. Well, I knocked my welds loose. I tacked a couple plates in the front. So I guess we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Clearly have lots of air leaks. That's probably my fault. I didn't put any Teflon on any of my fittings. How high will I go though? That is a lot of lift. Well, that pinion angle doesn't really change at all. Can you hear that? <laughs> I really should have put some stuff in there. Okay, well, let's let it down, put the body on, and see what happens here. The pinion angle really doesn't change, it almost seems good, but I don't know how high my ride height's gonna be. So, let's set that body down and see what happens. I can't really bolt my fender on because my uh, the wheels are too offset, but I can say where my bag placement is, I get tons and tons of lift that I can, I won't have a problem changing a tire. So if we fill that baby. Oh. <laughs> 
Try that again. There. We fill her up. Look at that. Easy, easy tire change. <laughs> Trust me, I don't normally have that luxury. <laughs> That works okay. The pinion angle actually surprisingly is right. It's a so close. I, uh, I'm gonna leave it. So we can leave that, get that under there. We'll lift the body up one more time. Let's figure out how we're gonna do our shock mounts. Let's figure that out. Oh, we gotta do the pan hard. Pan hard first. I've already distracted myself and sidetracked myself from that. Anyways, gonna lift the body off and uh, let's start looking at this panhard. All right, that bar is too long. Uh, and it's gonna hit into the frame. I mean, we can always shorten this up. That's not a big deal, but I guess, um, we'll just build one. May as well. Built everything else, right? I found I got a pair of these. So, I think they're for a set of split wishbones or something. I had, it'll make a perfect pan hard bar. I'll just have to find some uh, pipe to go in there. So this being ride height, the goal is we're going to make a tab off of there. It's going to go across, clear the diff, and we'll make a bracket there. So this, I feel, is probably ride height, so I'm going to make this thing completely parallel to that. I could make this mount adjustable in case I don't like it, but at ride height, you want to keep the bar straight. That way, there's no uh, left and right to the diff. That said, I'm making it as long as possible, so that should uh, help the cause with uh, my diff not trying to move around on me. I guess I can lower it down and see if I can clear the top of the diff, but I, uh, I feel that when I air it out, it's gonna be too tall. Because at some point when it lifts up, the, the pan hard is gonna kinda do this and it'll cause the diff to push one way or the other. So I like keeping it behind the diff cover, but we can unbolt to take it off if we have to service it or do anything. So that is not too big of a deal. Uh, hopefully I can make it where it sticks out a little bit further and then I can kind of make a shock mount in here. That said, I, uh, did, uh, I don't know, I did put a four bar and this is one of these Speedway kits for a 50, 50s Chevy and this, I didn't need this, but, uh, I have this pipe with a nice positioning for a shock so I can kind of buzz that in there, I think, try to repurpose this and then we can make a shock mount if this works out and I can put it there. If not, I can put the shocks on the front side, but we'll see. I have all this extra girth there that I don't know why I made it that much longer, but me, no big deal. We can cut it off, but maybe I can repurpose some of this for a shock mount and stuff. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's cut some more stuff. I'm going to quickly template this out. Boom. Three sided. And this thing can lock into there. Then this thing can scoot across. We'll make up a mount over on this side for the other side. And like I say, I feel this is right height. So I'm going to try to keep everything here sitting parallel at this height. That way when we're driving on the road, the diff should just stay perfectly square and not try to swing left and right.
We got this tacked in. Should stay straight now when we go up. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. I pretty much have it, the, the pan hard set up for, uh, like this is not right height whatsoever. But, uh, right around there is right height. So now you can see with the pan hard in there, when it used to lift, it had this jiggle. There's no, there's no side to side jiggle anymore. So we're, we're pretty cheery here. We don't have any shocks yet, but uh, we do have pan hard in there. So that's pretty cool. And down she goes. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Still gotta weld the link bar. We still have to cap these ends, but I don't know. I'm pretty happy with what we did. <laughs> so I think that is where we are gonna leave this video. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really happy this worked out well did everything I wanted it to do. We're gonna have to find some stuff to build a drive shaft yet. We do have to finish welding everything. Like that pan hard, that mount is not fully welded or nor is the pan hard. We'll have to figure shocks out, but I don't know if they're gonna work in the back like I was thinking. There's really not a lot of room in here. I guess we could come further, but I don't know. I don't wanna do that if I don't have to. Yeah, this is, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. This is pretty awesome. Looks good. I think it looks good. All right. Well, like I said, I think this is where I'm going to leave this one. I, uh, I want to thank you folks for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. I don't know what we're doing, but it's going to be more chassis stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. See you later, guys.